So let's go ahead and uh, set up machine number two. So here's number two again. Uh, go to mesh.com. We'll sign in. And we'll be greeted with the same uh, interface that we saw before on the website. Except now you can see that as well as having live desktop in our device list, we actually have this machine which is uh, our first machine. And if we also click on live desktop, we can connect to this through the web interface. And then we can see that we have our MySync folder that we created on our on our box A, and if we double click this folder, we can see that we now have, we have a file in there. Oh, actually it's not finished at the upload. Anyways, we'll go ahead and add, add a device by clicking the devices area, and click add device. So we'll go through exactly the same steps we did on our first machine. Go ahead and uh, run the Live Mesh installer. So now we have Mesh installed, uh, we can just double click on it and sign in. Oops. Whoopsie. Check all the options again and click sign in. We'll use the, the name that's associated with the machine Win7B. Click add device. Live mesh is installed now, we can double click on it. We'll open up in both machines here. You can see that we have one synced folder on live mesh, but actually you can tell because it, it shows us a shortcut that we don't actually have it synced on this machine yet. And so live mesh when a folder isn't quite synced on a machine yet will show you lots of shortcuts here depending on the folders that you have. So you can double click these folders and what this will do is this will actually create a physical location on this machine to keep these these files so essentially what this is doing is it's it's, it's a place that you can click on your your synced folder but it doesn't actually exist on your local machine so if we check the synchronization options we can see we are live desktop and we also have win 7a which is our left machine here and we have Windows 7B which is the machine I'm working on right now that I want to sync so let's click OK so then the folder turns into a regular folder and once it's fully synced it'll actually turn into a blue folder because uh, live mesh folders are actually blue so you can see here that uh, Live Mesh is actually doing some sync work. You can see, it. oh, it's stopped now, but it, it turns in a circle. And that just indicates to the user that uh, there are, is some synchronization work proceeding. So now you can see that we have a, uh, i close all the browsers here. So each machine has a folder called MySync folder and it's blue so it shows it's a live mesh folder each live mesh folder has an information area so it basically shows you the the recent activity uh, you, you can have multiple users using your shared 
your folders, uh, you can assign them permissions. So if you have a case where you have multiple users or members, you would see each time someone made an update, uh, you would see the change here. Uh, that is a useful tool for collaboration. And so let's see live mesh in action. So we can take our original file and uh, actually let's rename this file. And we'll call this file I created on box A. And let's change this. This file was created on box A. So this represents a change. And so live mesh, you'll see in a second, the live mesh will detect this change, and then these these blue icons and the notification area will start changing. I'm going to create a file here and call it file I created oops, on box B. And I don't know if you've seen that yet, that the rename that I just did on the first file propagated across to the machine on the right. And uh, this is the file I created on machine B. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And so now, if all goes as planned, it will detect it. You can see here that live mesh isn't completely instant, but close enough. And you can also notice that uh, on our, our news section, you can see that, you know, the file, it posted that the file was updated. You can also post your own messages. This is message. File coming your way. And, and so we have file created on box A, fully synced. And we have the file from box B, fully synced. So that concludes my, my demonstration of Live Mesh. It's a really useful tool and I, I really recommend uh, you give it a shot. Thanks for watching.